There he is. There's the big pig. Ew. I can smell it. It is going to be a hot one today, guys. It is. It's supposed to be in the 90s today, which for Northwest Arkansas, that's pretty warm in June. Humidity's pretty high. It's gonna be kind of a gross day in general. Good morning, my lovebirds. Sabine's been kind of interested in Zelda this week, a couple of days. Still not anything with Padme, but we'll see. Good morning, girls. gonna pee right on the camera. Yep. get the babies. I did kind of set them up some more shade over here and it sort of works but I think today because it's going to be so hot we'll let them out also they can go into the barn and we'll put these guys over there. Good morning. Good morning baby girl. way too big to be drinking off mom. We've got about two weeks to till um, Waffles and Fern are 10 weeks old, where they'll be old enough to wean. Since I've got my breeding couples in here, we'll probably give them a little bit longer. I don't typically wean my girls that stay here. There's no see reason to, as long as I'm milking in the morning, but we may just go ahead and put her with her brother uh, pepper and let her wean. Had a goat break into the barn. Well, like almost all the goats on Tuesday, I think. And they broke my fan. And I'm not pleased, especially today when it's going to be so hot. So Shadow, our feral cat, it's definitely pregnant. Love to be able to catch her. If you guys have any tips on how to catch feral cats. She's obviously gonna have these kittens probably before I can catch her, which is gonna stink, but if you guys know a good way to catch these kind of cats, I would love to have her spayed. We have a, a spay and neuter clinic that will do it pretty cheaply for these feral cats. But I can't get near her. This is about as close as she lets me get, and this is an improvement. Usually when she sees me, she runs off. Um, but I know that with cats, 
kids that are unsocialized when they're little, it's really hard to get them to be socialized. Good morning, fellas. had recommended for Pepper that when we weather him, we put him in with whatever buck is not breeding while we're breeding so that they'll have a friend. And I have always thought that's how you use weather. That's when we have Link. Link is weather. And that's what we used him for. Here is the, and, and you guys can feel free to talk about this and tell me what you think. Link, um, our bucks during breeding season got so aggressive that they made Link sick from mounting him so often. Good morning, beautiful. Where's my other pretty girl? Here. Here, my pretty. Good morning, big pig. Good morning. You are covered in mud. You are covered in mud already. It's hot, Mom. Need to put some cool water in their pig pool. We've been rooting in the mud this morning. Guys, Pepper did that almost all by himself today. He just missed the entrance, but he made it all the way over to the pen. All right, keepers. Yeah. Mom, too fast for you this morning. Yeah. It's finally hot enough and the garden is kind of coming to life. The self wicking tubs are working really well. Tomatoes are doing well. Strawberries are growing. This cucumber has just taken off. So gobbles didn't totally ruin the plants. Ready for these onions to be done so I can plant something else. Zucchini's already got buds on it. Green beans are coming up. These cucumbers are doing well. My other tomatoes. Like I've told you guys before, gardening's not really my passion. But I have enjoyed this little container garden so far this year. Hoping that it'll produce well for us. Do some more of those self wicking tubs. Nope. Got some moldy fruit for the pigles. And I thought we'd, I guess it could be a little pork chop update. We had a new little calf a couple of days ago. Maybe tomorrow I'll be able to, in the morning, walk out and show you that calf. It's, it rained like in the middle of the week last week. So it's kind of small to There's a pig under all that mud, I promise. They love fruit. It's probably their favorite thing. I have some bananas I should have brought out for him too. Bananas are probably his favorite. Oh, got a swap. You gotta check out what's in that one. I don't have anything else for you, bud. It's just strawberries or blueberries. So his air pocket has come back. It's still there. I don't know if you, you can kind of see it there on the side of his face. It is. <laughs> It's quite a bit smaller than it was. It's going down every day. It still feels just like gas. 
Like there's just still air in it. His antibiotic will be good until next Friday. So I'm probably just gonna kind of let it go until then and see if it just slowly improves. He is not bothered by it at all. Doesn't care. It's not hurting him, it's not affecting his eye. It's not all swollen around his head anymore. So we're just gonna kind of watch it and see. That's what the vet said to do. Since it doesn't seem to be in like a, a true abscess with pus, if it was a true abscess, it would burst on its own. We're just gonna wait another week and watch it and then make a decision about kind of what to do then. Hello. Hello. Got some flies, Bino. Noisy. Yeah, you are. All right, it's time to put everybody to bed. Toonie's out here eating. What's it doing, Toon? You can actually see your pig face. Look, there's a pig. There's a pig. Cool Jack on a big pig. There he is. There's the big pig. Just gonna see. Guys, he, he popped his ew, ew, ew. So it looks like his spot popped today. And I can smell it. So it looks like it looks like it's totally gone. Well, that was like convenient. It was definitely there this morning. Goodness, bud. But yeah, they both stink. They both smell like mud. Well, it's good. Hopefully that'll just heal on up. It might feed them a little extra just to make sure he's, fe he's feeling okay. He does have a bit of a smell, but it's hard to tell. It doesn't smell like, I don't know, pus has a, a distinct smell. It's not what it smelled like. It just smelled like stinky mud. But it did look like there was some pus around it, so maybe it finally ruptured. Which will be good. We'll go get them some food and see if maybe I can get a better look at it. It's gross. I got a pink cheek. I have no idea what I'm doing. Hot, sticky. This is the third set of clothes I've had on today. It's probably a lot hotter where some of you are. Um, and, but this humidity we don't usually have in Northwest Arkansas. Like, this is like Mississippi humidity. And I moved on top of the mountain to get away from this. I don't like it. All right, this is what I got tonight. I guess I'm gonna have to bring him some piece of his green because he's not eating that. He's just staring at me. Okay, well I've got iodine, but I don't have any, I don't have spray bottle. I can't find my just wing spray, so that'll be good tomorrow. Get some, I see their spray bottle, iodine's fine, iodine will be great, but um, that, and spray that. Spray that wound on pork chop's head, because I'm just talking with no context, but yes, it will spray, it will spray with some antiseptic or some eyeliner bow. Let's go. Let's go get you. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, what do you think about pork chops? Abscess finally bursting. Smells awful. It's gross. <laughs>
They love each other, really. If you like our video, please give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. Lots of fun content coming. Things like finding out if she's pregnant, um, if we're gonna have piglets, breeding the baby goats, breeding for baby goats, um, some fun content coming with Pepper and Waffles this week. So make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and you ring that notification bell. Because if you don't, you might not see our videos. YouTube's not always gonna put our videos up on your home screen if you're not subscribed. But if you're subscribed, that means that you will always see our videos when they come out. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, we're gonna do a next day checkup on pork chop and his abscess, and I was gonna clean it and spray it. Um, but as covered in mud as he is, it seems kind of pointless. So I'm gonna spray this wound spray on him really quick. If he'll let me, we'll see. I may not. So it's still deflated. It still looks good. So he's actually still draining a little bit. And it's just really hard to see because he's covered in mud. But. Yeah. So we'll keep an eye on it. And I'll keep. The hard thing is it with it with it being so hot. Like it's, it's not even nine o'clock and it feels like it's probably already 85 degrees. He's just gonna keep rolling in mud. So we'll keep trying to spray it, check on it, wipe it off best we can. <laughs> 